I'm hungry. I want to eat the sandwich. The chicken sandwich. The most controversial, the highest, the most argued about fast food item in history. This side of the quarter pounder, third pounder controversy. Popeyes. Burger King, McDonald's bringing back the southern chicken sandwich and acting like it's something fucking new. That stupid one that's not open on Sundays, I can't think of their name. Mm -hmm, whatever, they don't really matter. And now, Panera. Don't mind the green boxes. Everything's green. Everything's always fucking green when I need it to be sheen on screen. So I got this, I got, whoa. I got the original the other day and let me tell you, this Panera sandwich, shockingly good. So I got the original again, and I got the spicy one. And I wanna talk you through what I mean when I say the delicious deception of the Panera chicken sandwich. The signature take, seasoned and seared chicken breasts, Parmesan crisps, emerald greens, and garlic aioli on brioche. Notice how I said seasoned and seared and not fried? That's where they get you in a very interesting way. First of all, look at this thing. The green, you're gonna see the green, hang on. And then let's get a, let's get a beautiful cross section here. Kind of boring on the inside, right? But if you look here at the bottom, there's these Parmesan pieces that just fell on the back of my computer. You get the bite here, right? So let me get in here, get a good bite. You get a little bit of the greens, the aioli, or you know, as normal people call it, fucking mayo, and the crisp. Now, that's where the deception comes in, is you get that crisp from the Parmesan, but the chicken's cooked good. And then the mayo and the lettuce to kind of mask it over, it tastes like a crispy chicken sandwich. If you eat it in like a basement with no lights on and you're like half sad watching anime like I usually am, this just tastes and has the mouthfeel of a uh, normal ass chicken sandwich with about 85% less guilt, I'd say. Warning, eating multiple chicken sandwiches on a regular basis can cause heartburn, indigestion, and various other health effects. It's expected to not take liability for a few experiences. These symptoms, please be responsibly. Thank you. And so let's also take a look at something. Let's see. I thought I was going to have another talking point that it's like, it's like less, less guilt free. It's 440 calories for the Popeye's chicken sandwich. It's 560. It's still fucking good. <laughs> It makes you feel like you're eating something healthy, which, I mean, isn't that the whole point of Panera? Is getting fast food and then acting like it's healthier? You know, I'm not, I'm not where I exactly want to be nutritionally, but I have found if you hold yourself too tight, you're gonna crack. You're gonna crack like a motherfucker. Anytime I've held myself too restrictive, I always cave. So sometimes you just gotta eat some shit and it's fine. One sandwich ain't gonna fucking kill you. Two sandwiches, on the other hand, two sandwiches might kill you. And that's why we also have the spicy take chicken sandwich. Seasoned chicken, still. Spicy buffalo sauce, crispy pickle chips, and garlic aioli. Eat the booty for shit. <laughs> you gotta eat it like groceries, right? That's what they say. So let's get into this one. So this one's gonna be just as deceptive is because you have spice and fried pickles. So you're gonna get all the slop glop of a spicy chicken sandwich and also get the crispy from the fried pickles. Damn, look at that thing. This thing's fat with a pH. Okay, so this one is significantly sloppier, but I mean like, look at that. Look at that shit there. Look at that. Look at that glop, that flop, that slop, and all those crispy pickle bits on the bottom. Pickle bit fell off, let's try it. It's in there. I can tell you the white guy in me, gonna think it's too spicy and bitch out. <laughs> That's spicy, a little bit. Okay, initially my first bite, it might be because it was sitting for a little bit, but it's like, it feels too schlobby, too schluppy, too gluppy. Not enough textural difference of the crunch and the tender and the fresh with the green. That feels like a junkier experience. That doesn't feel like as nice to eat. I don't, it doesn't feel as elevated to me. Like, oh yes, oh yes. Now somehow, taking a look at this, I don't know how they were able to do this, but somehow the fucking sandwich with fried pickle chips and buffalo sauce is like only 10 calories more. What? 
To me, it feels like a much, for my mouth feel of it and like my taste of it, this sandwich, the, the spicy take one, is an uglier experience. It just feels like a buffalo chicken sandwich. The, the signature one feels very good. This feels like a, like a junky plea. I think the, the buffalo sauce and the aioli sogs up the pickles and sogs up the whole experience. So you lose that crispy chicken vibe. You lose it a lot. I think that the signature sandwich, a much more caloric and experientially better sandwich. So if you got the sandwich, if you ever do get the sandwich, let me know what you think. If you have a different opinion than me, feel free to share it. If you want to call me fat in the comments, I love you.